chapter 10, Mishnah 1. Mishnah 3 in chapter 7 taught that a person is not liable for transferring something unless he carries an amount of it that is considered significant by most people. Chapters 7, 8, and 9 listed many items and identified the minimum amount of each one that is considered significant. This Mishnah begins by speaking of someone who regards as significant even a quantity that is smaller than the standard minimum. We now turn to the words of the Mishnah. If one stored a small amount of seed, intending to plant it, show it as a sample to customers, or use it as medicine, and he took it out on Shabbos into a public domain, he is liable for transferring any amount, even a single seed. By storing a small amount, he showed that it is significant to him. Therefore, he is liable for transferring it, even though it is less than the regular minimum. Any other person, however, is not liable unless he takes out its standard minimum measure, because he presumably does not attach significant to a smaller, significance to a smaller amount. Likewise, if he, i.e., the one who stored a small amount of seed and took it out on Shabbos, changed his mind and decided not to use it for the purpose he intended, such as planting, and then he brought it back into the private domain, he is not liable unless he carried its standard minimum measure, because once he changed his mind, the smaller amount stopped being significant to him.